In this video, we're going to talk about piecewise defined functions. Functions in two pieces. This function, y equal to x squared minus 2, only exists for x less than or equal to 0. And this same function, 2x plus 1, is the second piece. And it only exists if x is greater than 0. So when it comes to sketching this, it's not that bad. All we have to do is substitute points for this function that are less than or equal to 0. So I'm just going to make a little table for this piece. Uh, what's the value less than or equal to 0? Let's use 0. Definitely use this point right here. So I'm going to draw an arrow. And substitute 0 into this portion right here. 0 squared minus 2 is negative 2. And I'm going to plot that. I'm going to plot that on the xy coordinate plane. That's right here. I'm going to give it a solid dot because x can equal 0 or less than 0. We need at least one more point, though. Uh, make sure don't choose 1. Don't choose x equal to 1. You can only use i as less than or equal to 0. Choose negative 1. I'll plug in negative 1. Substitute it here. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So that is located right here at negative 1, negative 1. And I'll connect this. Now, when this isn't a straight line, this is actually a curve. So I can just curve this through here. If you wanted one more point, you can do it. Let's see what's going on at negative 2. Uh, if we plug in negative 2 here, negative 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. So at negative 2, it's actually a 2 go up here, but at least get two points. This is coming through here, and we're done with half the graph. This isn't that bad. Now we have to do the other half. This graph exists when x is greater than zero. So we can only use values x greater than zero. So I'm going to make a table here. I'll use blue. x, y. This is interesting. A lot of students like to start at x equal to 1, but we're going to substitute a zero. Yeah, I know it doesn't have an equal sign, but we're going to substitute 0. Substitute 0 in here, 2 times 0 plus 1 is 1. But we're going to put an open circle on the graph at x equal to 0 for this part. 0 comma 1 is located right here. We're going to put an open circle just like that. That represents that the graph starts there, but doesn't include x equal to 0. See, it didn't have an equal sign, so we'll just put an open circle there. But definitely substitute that value in here. Just like we substitute the 0 here, substitute that 0 here. We just need one more point. How about x equals 1? That's greater than 0. So I'll substitute 1. 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3. So at the, point, look at the x, y coordinate, 1 comma 3. 1 here, 3 here. Now when this is a straight line, and from that open circle, there goes that straight line. And we're finished with the graph. It's that simple. And you'll also find sometimes you're asked to evaluate this. So if we had to evaluate what's going on at f equal to uh, negative 3, we can fill in, or f equals 0, or f equals 5. Just make sure you substitute it into the right piece. So if you substitute negative 3 in here, because negative 3 is less than or equal to 0, you get 9 minus 2, which is 7. You don't substitute into both pieces. It's a function, right? For every x, there can be only one y. At f equal to 0, we substitute which piece? Oh, this has an equal sign. So we'll substitute 0 in here. 0 squared minus 2 is negative 2. And yes, it's that value right there. And lastly, what's f of 5? We substitute into this one. This 5 is greater than 0. 2 times 5 plus 1 is 11. And it's always good at the end to do the vertical line test to make sure you did sketch a function. And sure enough, everyone, this passes the vertical line test. Every time I draw a vertical line, I only hit once at every location, even right here, because there's an open circle over a closed dot. And that represents only one value, okay, for y at x equal to zero. And that's it.